Let's be slowing down. Um, hello out there, James here with another video on my view on um, what I video I did earlier. This time I'm going to label this this video why as a as a um, black man in this country why I decided to vote independent and why I'm no longer going ever going to vote a Democrat. And it's related to this abortion. It's related to the previous video. When you have a party that would pick up, and I'm finding out, found out recently that they will honor a woman that say claimed that she was for women's rights and women's bodies or whatever. She was pu pushing a narrative. And this woman, I, 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 people made made videos on, and it was Margaret Sanger. A lot of black people who are part, who are in the Democratic Party, don't even think about this. You have black people who who's, who's, who's for Planned Parenthood, and the sad thing about it is that this woman want extinction, knock black people out of extinction. And, and you and you had people like certain people like Hillary Clinton who they who she admired Margaret Sanger, who is Bill Clinton's wife, and other women like her, who admired the distinction of the Negro race. I just saw uh, this man's video and um, his name is Roosevelt and he had a news clip of, of the, the mayor in Chicago Lori Lightfoot who also is a Democrat who also is a black woman I guess you know and I don't want you know it, it should be irrelevant that whether her sexual orientation but she is she's she's LGBTQ but she's for Planned Parenthood in in Illinois, it's okay, like other states, going to put children continually to defy what is coming down the pipe. If abortion is is illegal, these are mostly Democrat cities. Even here in, in Ohio, Ohio, you have Democrat people who are abortion sympathizers. They go. They go against everything. Is the nu nuclear family that God has constructed to be a nuclear family, a man, a woman, and a ch and, and a proper child to continue to generations. This is your Demo democratic party, and they are under under a demonic principality. They really are. They're up under demonic principality. Because you have people pro pro protesting, thinking that, and giving the illusion that women, women's rights are being ignored as far as their health care. No, and I say, no, it's not. It's, it's, but yet, what Roosevelt pointed out was they were so okay, but it's okay that women and men to be be when it came to the mandate because of the pandemic and the vaccine mandate. It's, it's kind of funny that the same party wants you to to um, take the vaccine and, and wear a mask and everything, but want and want to push this on other companies. And he, he made he made a good example of that he had clips of it too. So you're gonna pro test something of, of life. This is, and it's sad that you have black people who who is almost like they agree with the Margaret Sanger who was a eugenist that believe in distinguishing the Negro race in her own writing. There have been authors, white and black, quote this woman, actual her actual letter. She would go to the black churches and black doctors on how cunning way because they don't want 
the young people getting promiscuous. This is this is the one who, who this who they, they, they found it on. This one was a eugenist. And you have black people in the Democratic Party, black women, that is is, is so and some black and so it boggles my mind that they don't even that, that they agree with the racist system just to be under what they call the the white savior master mentality. That they don't even use no critical even no critical thinking. That you you are with a a a a, a, a party that's supposed to be liberal, supposed to be for, for the oppressed people. But find a way. I heard today there was a liberal woman, and uh, someone made a video on this, and I believe it was Phil Scott who I watched. And this woman, because, and she said this out of her own mouth, to, to write to the representatives that by them not passing the law, that she hoped that. Your daughters, your granddaughters get raped by black men. This is a, 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 a column, columnist. This is what she said. This is, what, this is supposed to be your lib, lib, liberals that are Democrats. That's supposed to be we all people, we all love. And, and, and those evil, evil white, white males over there in the Republican Party. But yet you got Democrats coming... Uh, in the closet, coming behind, saying some slick, slick side stuff, and then he said, "Oh, I didn't realize that was racist. Really? You didn't think that was racist? That you you say that you you that out of frustration that you hope that their little white daughters and granddaughters on the on the ones who are voting for this bill, abortion bill." That you hope they get, you hope they get sexually assaulted by black men, and of course she laid it on. She took she took the post down. But these are some of your people that's in your lib your liberal, democratic, come among mostly black and other people, party. Same thing. Same thing. You know, it's just ridiculous. And so, I didn't get a chance to vote this this, this past this past um, election because out in in Ohio it was a big primary thing here. But just imagine that. See, some people I always make a video. There's people who's direct with racism and it's indirect. That was an indirect. But, but if you confront somebody, oh my God, I don't realize I was being racist. But she and she's a New York columnist that said this. Someone had, had to record this video. I couldn't believe it. I said, are you serious? Because you could you don't like something uh, you, you don't like something what the courts is doing and that comes out your mouth that you hope that Oh, oh, their daughters get sexually assaulted by black men. And this is this is in liberal New York, in Democratic New York, where's a Democratic mayor and Democratic governor. New York, all inclusive. New York. And guess and they Democrats. I'm not a Democrat or Republican. I would call myself an independent. But right now, I if I had to vote, well, since I would vote towards Republican. Because these Democrats are stick together and want literally clearly extinct extinct the human race. Why? Because they don't want to hurt someone's feelings. They don't, they don't want to infect someone. We have gotten to the point that, it, and maybe maybe I'm sounding kind of conservative, that you you 
men have gotten weak in this country, and no one, and, and, and they're being manipulated by the devil through a, through some of these women like Lori Lightfoot, like your Kamala Harris, like your Hillary Clinton, and all and Elizabeth Warren, and all these other women, and Nancy Pelosi, to manipulate to, to ma manipulate things. This was the woman right here. In fact, I'm going to show you. I'm going to let you listen. This was the woman. Right here. This is what she, this woman right here. I want you to hear what he said. This is Dr. Chris Walker. Amanda Duarte. And Amanda made a tweet that I would almost say is, um, is probably the most racist <laughs> tweet I've, I've seen in 2022. It's definitely uh, among the most racist tweets I've ever seen in my life. And uh, so uh, Amanda, who um, I guess Fair she's use. a feminist, uh, she's a feminist writer. No copyright, like just teaching. She does a lot of Broadway stuff. Uh, she put up this tweet that was shared to me um, by a friend of mine, I believe it was T, T Khalid, uh, shared this, and I, I thought it was kind of crazy. And so I'm going to read the tweet to you, and then I'd just like to get your reaction in terms of how you feel, maybe in a sentence. Tell me what you think. She says, I, I do wonder how these white supremacist lawmakers would feel if their little white daughters were raped and impregnated by black men. So what do y'all think about that? Give me like a one sentence reply. Hey, my name is Corey. Hey, Analyze. How you doing? Hey, Kyle and Khaled. How are you? Kyle and Carl. What do you guys think about that? Give me like a, like a, a, a one or two word reply. You think it's crazy, disgusting. It sounds about white. Well, what do y'all think? Why do they hate and fear us as a kid? Uh, hey, Supreme Ally, how are you? Uh, what do you guys think? Give, give me an answer. Somebody said WTF. Uh, what else? Let, let's see. I'm looking for more responses here. SMH. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Is this live? Yes, it's live. Uh, wow. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't believe it. So, so this lady, um, I, I don't know who Amanda Duarte is. Uh, Amanda Duarte is a name I've never heard in my life. And uh, she's a blonde uh, white woman. And, uh, and I'll put her picture on the screen so you guys can kind of see her. Um, and I, I think she's kind of ashamed of her tweet. Um, she uh, has already you know, issued a pretty unconditional apology and said that what she said was disgusting and everything else. But I'm sorry, Amanda, I, I can't let you off the hook that quick. Now, let me just say this, though. I'm not going to necessarily respond with just pure anger and vitriol. It's easy to just be angry, which, which of course, I mean, if it outrages you, I don't blame you. I totally get it. Um, but I think that there's something deeper here, right? What I love is I love it when, there, there she is right there, Amanda Duarte, that's her name. I, I love it when people tell the truth. You know, I love it when people really tell you how they really feel and really what they think. Because here's the deal. Amanda uh, is a writer up in uh, New York. And New York, I, I spent time in New York. You guys know I was on the faculty at Syracuse University. And uh, I came from the South. And I thought, like a lot of people think, that when you leave the South, you're leaving behind the racism and you're going to live with the good white folks. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Like, that's the image, right? They give you the image that in the South, everybody, you know, is a pretty, pretty much a gun toting cowboy that wants to kill black people in their spare time, which might be true in some cases, but, you know, I haven't seen it, but maybe it's out there. And, and then in the North, it's like these wonderful liberal people who just want to see you, um, you know, succeed and believe in equality and all this other stuff. That is not true. That is simply not true. And in fact, Dr. Claude Anderson, you guys know we have Dr. Boyce Book Club on Wednesday nights. Uh, by the way, if you go to boycewalkins.com, you can join the book club for free. And we were reading a book called Black Labor, White Wealth by Dr. Claude Anderson. In this book, and everybody should have a copy, uh, he basically explains that the liberals in the North during slavery did not want black people to be free. The liberals in the North, right after slavery, were largely responsible for the successful implementation. Pay attention, now, a lot of people don't know this. They, they're not going to teach you this in school. They, ain't gonna, I, 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 they, they don't teach this in public school. But we, well, that's okay. I'm, I'm talking to you now. The white liberals in New York and in, 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 in the Northeast, these are your so-called allies, because they neglected black people, because they gave that benign neglect that we talk about, that allowed for the successful implementation of the black codes in the South. That because the people in the north, your allies, didn't step up and support the freed slaves, they're like, what are we going to do with all these Negroes? 
they ain't coming to take our job. They come take my job at the factory. I'm lynching them just like they did in the South, right? So these these people, because they neglected the, the slaves, they sent the slaves back to the South. In, in the South, they were being abused and killed and chased by the KKK, right? And, 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 uh, and, and remember, the other day, Professor James Small came on the platform, and he talked about how his father, who was a very successful um, home builder, he knew how to build houses with his bare hands, he came to New York. Again, white liberals live in New York. He's supposed to have all these opportunities, right? Right? Uh, no, it didn't work that way because the uh, unions and the licensing was controlled by people that wanted to protect their own resources and take care of their own families first. He could not get a job doing anything that matched his skill set. So, so I'm going to read the quote to you, the tweet again, so everybody can kind of catch up in case you just came in. And guess who was a representative of New York during that time? Bill Clinton's wife. She was a representative. I meant to put the mention that. And we're talking about a lady named Amanda Duarte, uh, who is a white writer that I've never heard of in my life. So Amanda Duarte made a, made a tweet. And uh, I'm going to try to actually see if I can put the tweet on the screen so you can really see Amanda's sure. illustrious words like right there uh, in front of you. And there's so much, I mean, there's so much to unpack here. Y'all know me. I, I got to, I, I go deep with it. I, can, I, don't, I don't just see what everybody else is seeing. Uh, I overthink on everything. And, uh, and so I, I love when people tell the truth. So, I, so I'm not really caught up in the emotionality so much of what she said. I, 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 know, what, I know what y'all think about us. <laughs> I, I've never believed that, that, they, that they're always our friends. But it's okay, though. I, I don't expect that. I love myself, so I don't need love from you, per se. Uh, and she says, I do wonder how these white supremacist lawmakers would feel if their little white daughters were raped and impregnated by black men. Not just raped, not just impregnated, but raped and impregnated. So, so, so the next day, Amanda comes back after her crazy tweet, and she says, I tweeted something extremely stupid and racist uh, last night. I deeply apologize and will not try to defend or explain it. Again, sincere apologies to anyone who was hurt by it. Now, they don't think that apology was sincere. Give me a yes or no if you think her apology was sincere. Give me a yes or no. What do y'all think? Y'all apology accepted? Everything cool? We all right? It's good. We allies again. <laughs> what do y'all think? We go, 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 go show the polls, holding hands, vote for Uncle Joe. Is that, is that what? Okay, what do y'all think? Okay, I see no. I see Queen of Consciousness says no. Okay, I'm not saying any yeses. And guess what? There's a lot of you Democrats is in, to have people like, like, like Amanda. A lot of people feel that way. That's why I call the indirect racist person. What he what he's basically saying. And you you saw the tweet. Sorry, right, Amanda. Intelligent black people. I don't think intelligent black people are forgiving you. So uh so maybe <clears throat> maybe you have to go, you know, hang out with Al Sharpton or somebody, he'll forgive you if you pay him, you know, eighty dollars and give him a bucket of chicken. So maybe that's where you can go get your forgiveness. Uh or maybe you can go down to some church, you know, where they love to forgive people. Y'all remember uh, those poor people that uh, when, when they had the uh, Dylan Roof situation, remember Dylan Roof? It's that guy in South Carolina went up and shot up the church. And then, like, literally his first day in court, there were people from the church that were there screaming that they forgive him. But that, that was weird. I don't understand that logic. But then again, slave training is very deep, and that's just what it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of give you a couple of things to think about on this tweet, or at least a couple of Dr. Boyce thoughts that, that popped in my brain. When I heard Amanda Duarte's tweet, I'm going to read it to you one more time for those who just came in. She literally says, in response to this Roe versus Wade situation, uh, and this is what she's responding to, the Roe versus Wade, uh, the announcement that they might actually reverse Roe versus Wade, which you can think about that what you want. We discussed that earlier, so we're not going to dig too deep into that. I'll let you have your opinion on that. She says, I do wonder how these white supremacist lawmakers would feel if their little white daughters were, were raped and impregnated by black men. So basically, it sounds like she's saying, that if you knew your little white girl was going to be violated by a black man, you would probably support abortion. Um, that's not exactly a compelling argument, right? Uh, to you know, for to be pro-choice, but uh, but this is an example. So called for critical race theory, right? Is used. See how black people are used. That's what they used to do back in then. That's first thing they do if they want you to support their agenda is they run along and say he racist y'all he racist they racist over here and then we're like they, they racist okay okay but what you want me to do they racist what they racist 
Right? And when, they, when they're pointing at over there and saying the racism over there, they're not pointing at their own racism. That was my biggest frustration. When I was on the faculty at Syracuse University for 13 years, I was absolutely astonished by how these so-called good white folks didn't realize how racist they were. Um, I said, look at your, you have dozens of academic departments that have never promoted one black person in 100 years of history. That's racist. The KKK couldn't do worse than that. You do understand that, right? You, you know, and, and you have incidents on your campus, and this is, go look it up, go look it up. This is Syracuse, this is where I work. This is New York, this is upstate. If you can't go much, you keep going too north, north, you're gonna be in Canada. So this is the north. These are your uh, liberal allies, right? I said, you know, they have so many incidents of racism. Mostly Democrat. At that university. And, and, uh, and, and a lot of times it's because sometimes the people most impacted by a disease are the ones who swear that they have been cured. Because you refuse to acknowledge the racism within your own space, you become the most racist son of a bitch that there is. You, you're more racist than racist people are. Because at least a, you know, at least a racist person can say, "Well, I was born a racist. I was born. I don't like the Negroes. I grew up mm-hmm. back down in Tennessee. We didn't like Negroes." Mm-hmm. I met a, you know, what, a funny two story. I swear, I promise you, two story. There was a lady that I worked with at Taco Bell when I was in high school. I had a job at Taco Bell, and we used to have to cook the meat with this big grinder thing. We would stir the meat with these big old stirrers, right? And I like Taco Bell. Now, I met my daughter's mom when you know, I had met my first girlfriend in Taco Bell. We had sex. The next thing goes, she's pregnant. So stay away from tacos. That tacos will get you in trouble every time, right? So so, so anyway, so I met Taco Bell was stirring the meat. And there's another person stirring meat because we needed extra meat because a lot of customers were going to be coming in in the next hour. So we're stirring our meat. And I'm talking to the lady that I'm stirring the meat with. Now, this lady was a little short, ugly little white girl from uh, West Virginia. She was sweet, but she was kind of, she wasn't that pretty, I ain't gonna lie. And, uh, but she was nice as hell. And she loved to date black guys. Like, that's one thing I noticed, she would date lots and lots of black guys. And, um, and I didn't care. I'm not a, I'm a Watch this. Choice. Watch uh, this. Like, who can, who can Watch this. Watch this. Are, what are you about to say? Out here. I mean, come on, Give me a yes in the chat if you agree. That black men are, where we are, we are walking gods in so many respects. So anyway, so we're starting to be, I'm starting to meet this short little dumpy lady from West Virginia. And I kid you not, so so we're talking, and I'm like, so, you know, where are you from? She's like, I'm from Blood Crack, West Virginia, wherever that was. And I'm like, um, okay, Blood so uh, tell me, you know, she's telling me about her family. I'm 17 now, I'm supposed to turn to me. And then I, she says, she, I, I said, you got any siblings? She said, yes, I have a brother. Uh, but he went to prison, though. I said, oh, what did he go to prison for? She said, because he killed a nigger. And then I'm st- I said, what? I said, what? what? What did she say? And then she literally, I kid you not, the lady goes, Kill a nigger. Like, 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 didn't you hear me? Like, like, almost like telling me, like, yeah, put mustard on the hot dog. Like, like, it was like she said it to me in such a way that I couldn't get mad because she didn't even know that what she was saying was offensive. She had no idea. I had met white people said, like that. Do you, do you do understand that you're not I had met people to like that. that, right? And she said, say what? And I said, you can't say that the N word. No, no, I'm black. You ain't supposed to do that. And, uh, and I'm not going to fight her. And I'm, like, I'm not that type of person. I, if you're ignorant, I don't blame ignorant for people. I'm, I'm the same way. Because they don't like, even know they're ignorant. Like, right? don't even have an ignorant person. Right. right. Right? And so I explained to her, like, no, that's an offensive word. You don't call it. She said, well, where I'm from, that's just what we call everybody. She, I kid her. She said, that's just what black people were called. And so when I told her, and I said, because you know, you're dating a black man. <laughs> he probably won't like that either. And she's like, oh, thank you for telling me, right? This is this is kind of, this this stuff is real, right? That's the racism that's interesting. And I wasn't even mad because it was innocent. I mean, how could she ever really hate black men? She talked around black people. She, her friends were black, her boyfriend was black. She never, it never crossed her mind that that was an offensive term. So what's, what's my point here? Well, my point is that, you know, you have people that, that, that give you their racism just directly, right? They just lay it out there and let you know where they stand and what they believe, and that's it. The liberals have learned how to serve your racism with sugar and ice cream on top. They have learned to put icing on a shit cake, and some of y'all eat it up like it's your birthday. Mm-hmm. The racism that I see on the left is every bit as bad as what I see on the right. 
Exactly. It, uh, it is it, it's insane. Exactly. It, it, it is the only way I can even conclude that we have somehow figured out or decided that the people on the left are our. So basically, let me inter interject right here. So basically, that's why I said it don't matter if it's so-called Republican that they want to make black people think that the vote Democrat because the same people who, who are mostly saying accusing the Republicans of being racist they have racist racist issues too but they they're gonna they're gonna use you at, and both sides will use you because you're the you're the token friend you you're, you're the token but otherwise and, and it goes back to what I always say there's the way they see it the way no matter the left or the right see it there's good black there's good black people there's bad black people and then everybody's the n-word that's where that that mindset come from friends it's perhaps because we just are so desperate for friends that we just will grab onto anybody who will make us feel better about ourselves there's so black people say, some black you know, people Black Lives Matter. We're like, oh, well, thank you. Because that nobody changed my life. And that's how some of us are. I appreciate it. Hearing a white person tell me that my life matters, well, that must mean my life matters. Like, 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 now my life matters. Before it didn't matter, but now that you told me that, sir, I, I now know that my life matters. Well, let me just tell you a secret, black people. Your life matters is what they ever told me that it did. And even when they told you that it did, the fact that they can let a uh, hundred black children get murdered in Chicago every week or two and not say a word about it that tells you that they really don't feel like your life matters that much because if they did they would care about all those little black children being killed but then again at the same time how are you going to be mad at them when it ain't their job to keep up with your goddamn children those are your kids black men that are being killed you're supposed to care about your kids you're not sitting around worried about Chinese children or, or Arab children or Jewish children are you so why do you expect them to be worried about your kids? Black woman, these are your children. So at the end of the day, um, that whole Black Lives Matter conversation is not even what I need to have. First of all, I don't care that you think my life matters because I already know it. Number two, even if you tell me that it matters, it, that doesn't change anything. And then thirdly, I, it's not even your job to tell me that my life matters. And how pathetic of a son of a bitch would I have to be? to need somebody else to tell me that my children's lives matter. Do you understand what I'm saying, Black? Do you, you, you get any piece of what I'm saying? Let me interject what he's saying, basically what he's saying. And this is how we have been programmed as a race of people. We've been programmed. That's why I said some some Black people, and, and even including myself at one time, thought like this. But that's why I said it's the colonial, the past haven't repeated itself. And some people are taught that, that that's now there are some people that talk or that, that think like this. And there's some of our people that think like this too. And we and we and that's why I said we will kill each other, dog each other, and seem like we and we get a little education or we get a little bit of this. And think well, that's just a poor little black kid down in the inner city of Chicago. But your, but your, but your successful black black child who's college educated ain't gonna go through no racism, right? See what you don't understand is, it doesn't matter. Cause just because a few people that like you, some of them are white, don't mean that everybody is gonna view it. And that and that that was the point of this video. That was the point. Tim, some black people. Oh, so y'all know me. I'm going to analyze some of this stuff the way other people might analyze it, but I'm going to come to a completely different conclusion. I'm done being outraged by what Amanda Duarte said. I thank Amanda Duarte, and I'm going to read her quote to those of you who just came in. Uh, I, I like her quote because I like it when people are honest. Just tell me where you stand. Tell me if you don't like white people, that's okay. Exactly. Shit, I got friends that don't like white people very much either, and that's all right. But we don't hate you. We just get, you just get on our nerves sometimes, and because we have a difficult marriage with white America, right? Sometimes they love us. Sometimes they hate us. Sometimes we love them. Sometimes we hate them. Seriously, be honest. Let's do a confession. How many of y'all have ever been sitting at a table and said some stuff about white people that will probably get you fired from your job? How many of you seriously? Come on, stop lying. Stop lying. 
right? I mean, I mean, so, so at the end of the day, it's not so much in that her, her, her quote was revealing there's something to be offended by, but you shouldn't just be offended by the fact that she stated what was already in her heart. That part is what you thank her for. What you want to actually dig deep into if you go to that next level of, of understanding it you will see that her quote reveals something very sinister about the liberal agenda that has always been in place in terms of utilizing black people and manipulating black people for their own causes at the expense of our ability to serve our own community. Unfortunately, some of these agendas are very anti-black and very anti-family. The, 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 the black woman, they, if, if black women, they, look, if you want to be empowered, create your own movement. You got a woman, you got a woman this woman. You got a lot of strong black women in your community. That's strong, capable, intelligent, equal, equal, all that stuff. But why does it have to be tagged on to somebody else's stuff? You know, we, you know, I can respect any any black woman who says we should be treated with dignity and I feel the same like, yeah, way. those rappers, they need to stop I feel the same way. these things about black women. I, I respect all of that. But when you come along and you sound like a white woman in blackface, I can't respect that because you don't even know who you are. Exactly. You let somebody else tell you. Are and you're carrying their flag for them. Exactly. You're not. You're not an independent restaurant. You're just a McDonald's franchise. Exactly. The corporation, the corporate offices are telling you what food to serve in your restaurant. They're telling you what your operational procedures are. They're telling you what logo you're going to have on your restaurant. So you're not the same exactly. as as Mama Jenkins Kitchen with the home cooked meals. You just you're just another McDonald's franchise. There's ten thousand of you. There's there's ten billion served or whatever. Right? So so anyway, let me keep going. Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, share, subscribe. And also just a reminder, my wife and I are gonna do uh, a black wealth and a black relationship. Let me start right here. I'm I'm a, I'm a going for but he's right. I mean he, up until that is right. Black people can do their own thing. Can, you at the position now that you can you don't need to tag along with somebody. But there's some black people that that won't because they mentally, just like the ancestors, just like they're, they're in, in, enslaved too, and they don't even know about because they feel like they have to appease. And it goes back to that, the house Negro versus the field Negro. And that's what you have on your Democratic Party. You have, you have house Negroes that is for abortion. House Negroes that sit, sit long as the as a, a colonial slave master, a genocide, a sire, like a Margaret Sanger, said that your population need to be reduced down. So it, and so you can enlighten us, and so our population can grow. That's what the Democratic Party is about. It's not about all people. It's not about all people. And, it, and it's so silly that you have black people who's caping in, in what the one God Roosevelt had this in his in his video clip. But talk about is get going on with the narrative about women's rights. And that a woman have to take time, you know, she got some and I heard a black woman saying this in, in Chicago. That she's going along with the narrative. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not lying, man. That she going along with the narrative. That that and these liberals. It's adults only. She can't bring. That's going along with with the narrative. And if I can, I don't know if he, if I think I I think uh, if I would have played that video, it it would shock you. That this there are black people that are okay with this. Across the country, and they don't, even, they don't even know why they, they the ones are for Planned Parenthood. Some don't even know what it is that the same black people you could have been one of the same black people that Margaret Sanger could have took out because she talked about about us as as a collective and reduce some of our population. And, they, and, and, and before they got to the poor white people and other people, the black p people was the first ones that, that come down. And your Democrat Party backing this up with this other agenda. LGBTQ backing this up. Your feminists 
backing this up. And why? And why should I vote Democrat? And you and, and see, some of our people in our families, they're lazy. They don't. They don't want to do the research and, and put in the footwork because they don't want to believe it because they stuck into a slave slavery mindset too. That you can't think for yourself. We can't have another generation not thinking for themselves. We must feel like we own them. We must convince them to convince them to use the wisdom to flip it to make it seem like you, you it is not necessary for you to reproduce because your people always will be in poverty. And that's what they that's what the indirect a direct and indirect person do. This is what this role versus way it is is about. And, and that the and, and, and the black caucus along and, and, and along with some of your Democrat represents that's supposed to be allied with you against against this racist Republican stuff against the racist Trumpers and things like that and even if, if they it was and here we and, and, and as black people this is the funny part it don't matter because you know because they it's the colonial mindset that 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 some of some people inherited they don't Black people are not equal to them. They three fifths of a human being. This is is, is in the Constitution. Well, I'm I'm educated. I'm I went to heart. You're still a Negro, even if you was even. Let me tell you. So I made a video about this, and it was a, it, it was it was a secret black order. Uh, 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 you know the Masons, right? The Masons. Do you know that that that, that there was a black Mason, and there was a white Mason? But it was a story about it was Albert Pike, who was one of the people that was here, the, the white Masons, who founded the, the Ku Klux Klan, that founded a secret organization, didn't want blacks in their organization, even though they were at a high educated level. This is for you educated, high society Negroes, that he was a racist, that he was he's grand rid of the Ku Klux Klan. They had to convince convince him to let the and let the, at that time to let Negroes into the organization. This is this is fact. They didn't want this this I, I saw this on the video. So so even for you black masons out there, that's your history. The the white masons had to have to even account for you to give you those positions. Because they own 90% of the thing. You ain't owning nothing. You don't own nothing. You don't even in your secret societies. You don't even own, own it. But you're part of it. Your masonry. Your 33rd degree. Your history. So even your white masons have over you. You're not free. You're just a high tech, high, high slave negro. That they can pawn and use. You just like I said. You you just like the one that that was like the pharaohs in the time. That just because they had just because they had a Moses, that they think they was gonna get the, that the kingdom of God wasn't gonna strike the land. And they using you. You 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 the modern day Hebrew that they using. And the pharaohs are are, are, are like the, that the people in the high art places. You being used, whatever the the mid mid, mid good people. And you think that they can, and they're covering you up. And you don't think some black people are not catching on because you think because you're out of higher secrecy than some black people. And you choose to sell out your own, just like they do in other parts of the black diaspora, that you're going to get a cake. But in the end, you, it, it's, like the, it's like you can sell out to the devil, but the devil... Don't and, and he thank you for selling out, but you still, I still, you still ain't shit to me. I thank you for renouncing God. You still ain't shit to me. That's that's what you're doing, doing 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 a satanic system. So your black caucus, that's how, how I see it. They want the accolades like Obama. They want the accolades, but they don't want to accept the fact. And some of our people fall for, for, for this mess. That's why. 
and they, then then they penalize you and say you, you don't go along with this, and I'm gonna go along, and I don't care if they're a doctor, I don't care what position at the end. Look what they did to the Tuskegee Airmen. Look what they did to other black people that they that they did the test them on. They use black people. Counterproductive, counterproductive racism, indirect racism. And who knows what party did that? Whether they were Democrat, whether they were some Republican, I don't know. But it, the fact, the matter of fact, that they did it, that that somebody was responsible for taking up, and they were they were same responsible for the oppressors that caused the, the the slaughter of 20 million babies. There are black people. It's going to be held responsible along with their colonial masters. It's just in the Democrat Party. I hope you satisfy and it's you out there protesting. You will be know that you, you don't know that the woman the, said the woman who who was a eugenist said that, it said we need to reduce the, the Negro population, black people, but black people who is for, for this and it's in your Democratic Party is it, supporting this. Not it, it, the Republican Party. They wanted the, the party. Do, do away, uh, not uh, do away with abortion because they see the white population was was drowning, and we kind of know that that we have an understanding why they allowed the Ukrainians and certain people to come in and keeping the, the Haitians and other people out because they want to boop up boop up their population, because because status does race status doesn't matter in America, even though we all supposed to be included, but race status because. Demographically, it has to look like that. That's why you a hundred. I believe that's why they allow a hundred thousand Ukrainians over here. They go allow they go allow a hundred thousand Cubans over here. They go allow a hundred thousand Haitians over here. They go allow a hundred thousand Africans come over here. They go allow a dark, melanated um, people from South and Central America. They 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 have they want white looking people. This is at a global scale. And all of a sudden, you see it down at the border. That there were people that they just letting the Ukrainians in. Just let, don't, let, let them bypass. They set, set, set the thing up in Mexico. They got the pride, got the best. They treat them like royalty. You got people down there, even, even among another nation, other nations of people that have been trying to come, come over here and be citizens. The Ukrainians just come over because, because of that. And this this conflict in South America, this conflict in Haiti, this conflict in the, all those different countries, as people fleeing fleeing their countries. But we all, but this is on this administrations, the Biden administration. He did this, and he's and, and not only that, some some the, the, the black migrants, your, your Nigerians and other different and Jamaicans, the Haitians and stuff. He sent. Get rid of them after they've been for 20, 30 years, and, and whatever. So it, it goes to a global, a global, global thing. And people say, Ray, why don't talk about that? It's it's not about. Yes, it is. It's about white supremacy at a global level, and even in America, who wants to remain the pop, the most populous? Because the because the white population is dropping down. That's why they're doing it. That's that's why they're doing it. And so, if abortion, you have enough undecided white people aborting, that's that going to slow down the population. In which in, nobody should be aborting. Period. But it's it's the center of our race. We ain't supposed to know this. We 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 see. We we supposed to be as as black people, a vast majority spo ain't supposed to be done. We 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 ain't supposed to have this connection to God. God ain't supposed to show us show us we should should we should be next the next thing to an animal, right? That's how your liberals think. That's how your liberal think. And and, and he's just on the opposite side from. That's how your left winger. Has almost the same agreement as your white white winger. The only thing is that they just button heads, and so when they so when the Most High, He's putting all on explain. Ex 
He's telling you who, who's really is about what. This is what the, this war is about. And it's on a global it's on a global scale. That's why you see how the way it is? There are people dying in other parts of the world as we speak. There are wars going on and it and it may focus on this one war of Russia and Ukraine. You have you have you have North Korea is launching. China is about to do something. Iran is about to do something. And they worried about, about they, but they so focused on, on, on Russia, Ukraine. Why? And you got other countries that don't even like the United States. They, 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 they want to, and, and, and probably, it might be a matter of time, they might team up together. And we're going to get it from one end on the other. And, and, and the, the, along with these NATO countries that push this Nazi propaganda, this, this NATO, and, and, and so we we're gonna we're gonna be stuck in the middle of this. And how how all this ties together? That's why they, they, they want let let it let let it in, because they not ain't no Ukrainian Ukrainians gonna be aborting their kids. No Ukrainians, no. Surely, hopefully, no, I don't think no Af Afghan people, they don't push this on them. They were probably pushing on the Haitians. They get to me up in here. Some Mexicans, they try to put this push abortion on. Your Democratic Party, they're doing this. And, and your Lat Latino population, it, it, it's, it's a sinister thing. And even it comes down to if it does something, that they show make it even some poor white people would be included into it too, but they really don't want it. They don't want it really because the white population. This place sees colored people. It's it's it is a fact at a global scale, and they pushed this on the black community. They pushed it, and you know what they did? Why they pushed it? Because they because when they when they when they show crime in Chicago and different cities. And like, and it's a young black male doing this and doing this to to his own people, whatever. This is what they do. This this should be justified. So let's so the ones who the ones who think like this, the eugenists like the the Margaret Sangers, and saying, well, they keep having kids. They gonna turn out like this guy who's robbing and stealing, and they they actively acting aggressively, angrily. Just and so, your liberals are not your friends either. At least if some, some, they're not your friends. Now you may feel kind of distant because your, your patriarchs, predominantly on the other side, may not include you because you have to. You, you, it's good that you part, but you just stay. You stay in the closet until we need you. See, see, black people get used on both sides of the track. But at least, what I can say, at least I said, I give Trump this much credit. At least, he, and I give him this much credit, despite every all the things what happened, what he said, and what 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 happened with January 6th and everything. At least he had the balls. To, to stand what he stand, and he didn't compromise. And if he say something, he ain't gonna he ain't gonna apologize. You can you can say anything and, 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 and shame him and call him a misogynist. It, it don't bother him. He take a stand about something. Obama don't even take a stand. Ob Biden don't really take a stand. He he just he he don't take a stand for something when he does. It goes against the interest, and he use uses to manipulate. He uses use, so they want it one and the same. And I'm not a Republican or a Democrat, but I do I, I do respect that about about Trump. Cause at least he's the type of man he lets you know this is what I think, and this is what I'm going to do, and this is the way it is. And if you don't like it, I don't <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if you don't like it. You ain't gonna change my mind as a leader, and that's why some people liked it, Trump. That's why. That's why. That in some cases, yeah. And whether you might be black, and might hear this, and might disagree with me, 
But there's some black people that even agree will agree on this one. That he was evil when to admit me he said he, he said on when he was running his campaign, black people, your city is 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 is, is shitholes. Let me maybe we can work out something and maybe we, let's come to the table and talk. The black caucus didn't even want to talk to him. The black caucus. It had took black celebrities to come and talk to him. And then they got ridiculed and called sellouts. Because the, because the Democrats put the in here. Oh, he's racist. And here's Biden. Here Biden is telling you, well, if you don't vote for me around there will be right doing black hand, you're not black. And he's he run as a Democrat punk candidate. Oh, that Trump is racist, but, but Biden's saying the most he's saying the racist thing. And he's displaying it. Then he's ignoring the black people. He's ignoring Ignoring black people when it comes to their their their, their major issues, and then add insult to injury, he really in, in, indirectly with his administration saying we're gonna give you crack crack pipes that, that really directed towards the poor community, but they know that they think when they think the poor community, they think of black people. This is what he. This is what your Democrat. This is why the Democrats is losing. And this is why some black people are waking up and seeing this is bull crap. That you ain't no difference. And like Dr. Boris Walken said, you no different. You no different. You're being exposed. You you use it and manipulate for political reasons. You you're part of the same thing that the you accuse the Republican Party of being racist. You just as racist as a Democrat. You you the in the closet racist. And me and me your because your Democrats are in the closet racist. And they just photoshop with black black people. See, this is my favorite black person. And I'm not racist, because this is my favorite black person. Remember, remember this, ladies and gentlemen, when I said that you have on both sides I see this. There's black, good black people, there's bad black people, and everybody else is the N-word. That's how that's how people in America view it. They don't, and you know, at least the boldness of the, like he said down south, they let you know. <laughs> it don't matter you good or bad, but up north, in the northern states like Ohio and New York and all these other northern states, and I heard a black man say this, we in the closet with it. We 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 that live up in the northern states, we in the closet. I've heard black people say this. That they're in the closet until you kinda of figure out, until they kinda of indirectly joke around and say, Man, I wanna be just like you brother brothers, man. How what, how how you brothers do that thing? Well that's their culture. Give them give them a couple of malt liquors and some chickens. That's how that's how they view you. They stereotype you. You even your liberals stereotype you. And sadly, some black people go along who be ignorant enough who go what 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 what, what we call cooning along with, with it. So that comes from the that comes from the past. So everything repeats itself in the cycle. And they said we don't want to talk about that, but that was part of the past. Because you have some black people that that's that generationally have that mindset. If I get next to this person and, and, and don't like my don't like the really don't like the people and despise the people that I'm around, I'll I'll because I'm a part of them. I'll go into them. My ideals and will marry into their ideals. The ID the ideal. There are some black people like that. They don't want to hear the truth. Fact. They, they, they love being a sellout. Fact. And, they, and when they get that Negro moment, when somebody is say, hey, I'm just like you, guy. Mm -mm. Mm, not in America. You might you might be cool with some people. But if you crisscross this country, not every white man going to see, see you the same way. Even if you, if you, if you are a Republican, but, Conservative, whatever, or liberal, you gonna come across somebody's racist, an indirect racist. You're my, you're my favorite Negro. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Oh, 
but you're going to find somebody else that's not going to find you to be their favorite Negro among among the people. And they don't, they're not going to tell you this. They're going to indirectly show you. They're going to reflect it back at you because of your complexion, because your hair, your nose. You can, you can speak proper English and everything. It's, it, it's your essence of what you are. Skin color matters. Don't let no one tell you this. Skin color matters. Here in your eyes, here in the mind. Cause sub just like Amanda Duarte, she gets it slipped. Oh, it slipped out. It slipped out like he said. I bet she, I bet she's a liberal and she probably vote Democrat. And this is what she said about black men. And some black men, I hope you're hearing this. It doesn't matter. And someone made a good point. A racist person can sleep with you, eat with you, and still be racist. Because you're their favorite black and everybody else is the N-word. That's where that colonial mindset come from. Some people carry that, not all, but some people carry that colonial mindset. Because you got to tell people, not all of us white people. No, I'm not saying all. But there's some people that carry that mindset. That we really, they don't see us all as equal. And I know, it, and, and that there's some people that secretly say, man, you know, maybe we should do something. I know. Let's... Let's find some way to convince them, like a Margaret Sanger, that they really are, we keep them in poverty, that we put them in, in, in residue areas, we fill their communities with drugs, so they can, they can take each other out. We and, and we will guard the border so when they come into the suburbs, we'll watch them. This was the whole plan. And some of your your representatives. Could be, you know, man, they're on the police department or, or they're in the political department. They they okay with this until it happens to someone in their among their family members. Until they ever go to another state, another town, another city. Oh, I'm I'm not like those ghetto blacks. He ain't niggas. I'm not me. I'm black. I'm not even black. Well, that's how some black people is. Just the reason why I decided not to call myself. Because after hearing something like that and seeing what really my eyes have opened up, they genocide you black people. It don't matter what you're voting position is they genocide you they're raging a war against you whether it's from the left wing from the coming from the left wing the left wing said well we'll solve that problem we'll make you print like and it started with goes back to the 60s with Lyndon Johnson's we will have these Negroes voting he didn't say Negro he said the other word for the next three or four hundred years you fall hook line and sinker you fall in hook, line, and sinker with the Willie Lynch. This is how you control the black person. You, you take the light skin, you put the dark skin. You take the big, you take the small. You take the you take the woman, put them up against the man. You you, you, you disdain for each other, and you destroy you destroy them inside and causing the one destroyed. Guess what, black people? You you have fallen right into the trap. Destroy their womb. I don't want no black boys. Destroy destroy them. Your, 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 lip, your, lip, your liberal sister, feminist sister, thinks of, about you like this. To you black women that are feminist, some of you are feminists. And for abortion. And even if you do decide that whatever, if you can stay with the same sex as the same woman or marry an opposite man, it, it don't if you married the one who wants to destroy your people 
and you want to procreate with the people that want to destroy you, it don't. You still are black. You, you, your childhood, both of these nations, it's going. You still going to be an outcast because you have the inner hate for your own people. This was some black women and some black and some black men don't even see that. So when you hate your own people, you give you give it to the Willie Lynch. And 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 sometimes some of your Willie Lynch could be on the probably most likely on the far left because that's how the far left think, like the Martin Sanders. What do we do with all these Negroes? They get too influential. We have to have some type of ability to reproduce to make something our offspring with the, with the musical talent. We got to figure out a way to, the athletic talent. Some of th that's how they thought. When you read, the, you go online and you see their writings. And if, and, if, and if some black people would think about this, and I wish I can tell even some black people my own family. They won't do the research. And, and even if some white people say you put something in the book, black people won't read it. There was even a stereotype about that. You know what? In some cases, that white person was right because some black people don't read. They don't research. They don't, they don't research. And, you, and, they won't, and there's some black people don't believe until a white per person tell you. They, you have, they, they, and sometimes and what, who will feel what truth will tell you. And then he's like, oh. I don't understand. And I'm glad that even if it was a white person that he's he or she's under the truth to, to come blatantly and tell you the same doggone thing. Because some of you black some black people out there have the same inner hatred towards you. You won't you don't want to hear truth from your own. You've been programmed colonize and you generationally come from colonization too it ain't just the white people it's some black people don't want to be free mentally don't want to be free you play both sides of what the, the Willie Lynch you the house Negro that that if I'm, I'm, I'm good up in the house I ain't got to go out there in the sun and, and, and pick the thing all I got to do is stay cool and smile up around smile around these folks and stay, stay like, stay like the, the lamp in the kitchen. You, you, and I, and there's another term of so terminology. Amer as a, as a, the people that see us, some of us, some of us they see, some of them see, some of us are like this. We visible till, we invisible till until they want it to the point that we become visible to them. When you see the old slave movies, and civil rights movies, you always see that one black person. He's always in the background. Why? You're just the scenery. Fact. So this, this, so this is what the Democrat Party do to you. They're going to use you, and they've been doing this. We just want you the scenery. We're not gonna do. It. We're gonna. We for everybody else. You just be part, black people. Be a part of our scenery. Don't whine. Don't complain. Come on. I'll, I'll be at your black church. And kiss your babies next month. I, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not racist. Oh, oh no. She'll justify. Oh, you, and 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 end up and say something like this. And, 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 what's, and what's hidden on the inside comes out like this young woman says. She swear up and down, you can no, I'm not racist, I'm not prejudiced. And I have met women, young women like that. And I have met young women and men are like that. They visible until you put them on the spot until the situation happened. And when it's something that disagree with them, their true nature come out. Are you surprised the video I just showed you? What th this is what it is. This is reality. And if you're African American, 
and you listen to this video, that that's America. We all the same, don't matter what class you in. Don't matter if you're the educated or the uneducated, don't matter if you're the college or you, you have been the college, don't matter if you're a poor working man or a homeless man. You visible t you we all are invisible till we visible. The movies that the TV show you, the TV, the movies, everything, the show will show you. Every day the show they have to be the majority of the population. They'll click clues you in, give you something. They'll give you a position, but your the majority of, of us are invisible. Majority of us are supposed to be ignorant and stupid. Majority of us ain't supposed to be woke. We're supposed to be shiftless and lazy. Why do you think the word N-I-G-G-E-R come from? Ignorant, shiftless, and lazy. And just like that's what, what, what Dr. Boyce was saying, that's what that woman was taught. That's what we call black people. Ignorant, shiftless, and lazy. Nigger. Hello? Well, I, I just... That's those poor in the city. No, it's not just somebody poor in the city. It's someone who disagree with them, the ideology. Well, he dis that James disagree with me. He must be in the GGR. Colonial mindset. Margaret Sanger, Willie Lynch, Darwin. They all had the same mindset. Helen Kowalski. That believe that black people when they go to heaven, they, that they going they going they gonna be serving us up in heaven. That God's gonna make them pure or white. They believe this. Colonialize. Guess what? Black people, some black people in the diaspora believe the same thing too. You 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 kiss a statue. That, that, that that's not even the one that came to save the save the world, the man that responsible for saving for our sins. But you should kiss the image. You have Africans doing this, Caribbeans doing this. You kiss your colonial masters. Some of you will colonialize, and we colonialize here. I was up under the same thing. We kill each other, hating each other. Is but someone talking is so very intelligent. Why are you talking like them? You you ain't from my hood, Negro. You ain't from my hood. They and then we get online. They see this. They're watching us be. They're watching us like you watch animals in the zoo. The ones who are, the one who have the indirect racist. They say, look at those. I like the way they rebel. And, and, and some, one of their relatives say, no, you're not acting like one of them niggers. That's how some white people talk. Fact. But they got some good music. You act like one of them niggers. <laughs> but they got. But look how you acting. That's your mall. And some will be bold enough, and, and God will reveal how it was, they will slip up. God will show you. You don't believe me? Live long enough. Will you be around, be the only one? You'll see. You'll see. Somebody's going to slip up and show you that true side like, like she did. Somebody, not every, but someone among a crowd of people is going to slip up. Trust me. I have lived a long time to see this. So, my name is James, and this is my reason why I'm not voting Democrat ever again. Because Willie Lynch mindset over black people from a left hand side, the illusion of inclusion. You 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 visible till you you're invisible. You invisible till we make you visible. That's how they see. It. They admire you, but you 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 still less than. You athletically, but you still less than. 
You're supposed to be less than. You're not supposed to be, be intellectually creative. Creative. Physically, you can run the ball, slam, slam, and boy, you guys sure can dance. But mentally, you intellectually, some of them see you. No matter if it's from the left wing, from the right wing. Remember, there's good black people and it's bad black people. And everybody's the N word. That's the way you, some, even on your majority, on your left hand side, your Marcus Sangers, they'll filter down to the women that admire Marcus Sanger, your Hillary Clinton's, and Elizabeth Warren, and all these other people. Kamala Harris, Barack Obama. And she's, oh, and there's some black people. Oh, he's a black president. He showed you how much it, what he thought about you. He made everybody else gave a buck to everybody else. And, and the very people that he, he lived among his own people. He saw the suffering among black people. Because he stayed in Chicago. He seen the part. But he didn't do nothing about it. And when he got to the white, he didn't do nothing about it. And it, it and then the white the white person pointed out, you call them a racist. But it's a fact. No, that's truth. It has nothing to do with race, it's truth. And there's some white people that even point that out. Wait. So I don't know how you have Oh, you being racist. No, no, they're not. They they speaking true. Obama didn't do shit, do crap. He just wants accolades. I'm just want to be part to be the first black. Well, okay, that's nice, but what did you do to help out the black pe of the black people? Just being the first black. What did you do? I mean, the first black. Did you do to help pull up other black people? To help them to a, to a better system? Or did, or what, or did you go along with the colonial mindset of your colonial masters? Let's pick a few of them now. Remember, there's good black people, there's bad black people, and everybody else is the N-word. We don't want the bad black people. We don't want this to mean these black people because they're not articulately, defiantly intelligent. This comes from the left, left, and me, some on the right might feel the same way. It's two of the same bird. Some of us are waking up to this. So I hope someone hear this message. It's kind of long. I made it kind of long. But it's, it's truth. You can't deny that it's truth. Truth it has to come forth. You can't keep hiding something from people. You can't keep hiding it. No matter all from people from all walks of life, they're going to come across truth. But you have people that want to hide the truth. And deny the truth. We in an era that's what we don't want to pick, but you see it is taking cost around us in this country as a whole. We we slide in the in the hole because we don't accept truth. And we trying to cover up our dirty things, our stink. That's why we the economy the economy is the way it is. That's another reason. But anyway, I'm sorry to ramble on this longer, but I just want to make a fact. I hope I if it has someone to think about what I'm saying. And just, yeah, and it's, it's not about all people. It's about a certain mindset of people. It's the mindset that's in particular people. It's not just on the white side, but even on the black side. Any other side. That's the message. It's not to accuse all. I hope no one don't get offended. But it's fact. God made us all human beings to, to know truth. There's no respect of truth. Don't believe me? Get on your knees and pray. He'll show you truth. No matter where you come from. What your cycle, what your intelligent level is, or anything, he show you the truth. When you when he when you level on him, he'll show you. 
And, and, and if, you, if I'm telling you watching my video, just tell you if I'm telling the truth. You can talk to your spirit. All right, then. You guys take it easy. Until next time, you guys take care.